The Missouri Department of Transportation is wrapping up an environmental assessment of the Interstate 229 corridor. It's the next step to move forward a project to determine the future of the 229 double-decker bridge downtown. News Press Now's Riley Funk has an update on where the project stands heading into 2024. With the aging Interstate 229 double-decker bridge likely set to come down, officials from the Missouri Department of Transportation continue to study alternatives for the future of the roadway in the downtown area. MoDOT's environmental assessment evaluates the potential impacts or consequences of a plan before it happens. The study has taken some time, but officials say careful research is necessary when it comes to a project of this caliber. Marty Lyles, Northwest District Engineer for MoDOT, said multiple bridge alternatives alternatives were presented in 2022, but MoDOT favors the existing corridor route, which would remove the bridge and replace it. The alternative that we're taking forward uh, and writing an environmental document on was basically to remove the bridge, um, build uh, a new roadway, um, in the same alignment as where the bridge is, but actually put it on the ground. This alternative would allow traffic to flow two lanes in each direction, similar to the current situation in the same location. An exact blueprint is not finished for the project just yet. Interstate 229 is more than 40 years old and it received a C- rating during its April 2021 inspection. Troubles have popped up over time, including a portion of the pavement buckling last summer due to the heat. While many supported the option to keep I-229 and repair it in its current form, the risk of having to completely replace the bridge in 20 years and the near $200 million price tag pushed alternatives to the forefront. As the department prepares to present the findings of its environmental assessment to the Federal Highway Administration, Lyles points out that one of the biggest concerns the study highlighted involves stoplights and traffic. We're minimizing the stoplights, trying to figure out ways how um, agricultural equipment, truck traffic can actually get from the fields down to the stockyards and things like that to the grain elevators uh, without actually going through a lot of stop bites. After the Federal Highway Administration approves the assessment, MoDOT will return to the community for input on the project, and that's expected to happen sometime this spring. Following approval from the FHA, finding the funding to pay for the project will be the next big task, and that could take anywhere from five to seven years. Cost estimates of the project are in the range of 61 to $77 million. The estimated cost for any of the alternative projects is cheaper than completely rebuilding the structure. For News Press Now, this is Riley Funk.